AutoCAD layers are used to group information in a drawing by its function and to enforce line types, colors, and other standards. Layers are the equivalent of the overlays used in paper-based drafting. Layers are the primary organizational tool used in your AutoCAD files. Let's open up a drawing. Let's look at the architectural example imperial file. Here we have a very simple, very basic architectural drawing with a few different layers in them. If I go to the Home tab on the ribbon and I look at the Layers panel, there are a lot of different tools in here to allow me to use, set, create, and manipulate my layers. If I click on this arrow here, I get a list of the available layers in my file at the moment. By creating layers, you can associate similar types of objects by assigning them to the same layer. For example, you can put construction lines, text dimensions, and title blocks on separate layers each. In this file, we have a layer for the walls, a layer for the windows, and a layer for the doors. And you can see they're all different colors here. That's just there to help you distinguish between the line work so you can know what is what. These are the layers here. They control the line type and the color of our objects. By creating layers, you can associate similar types of objects by assigning them to the same layer, as was done in this example. With layers, you can then control the following. You can control whether objects on a layer are visible in any viewport. You can control whether and how objects are printed. You can control what color is assigned to all of the objects on a layer. You can control what default line type and line weight are assigned to all of the objects on that layer. You can also control whether objects on a layer can be modified. You can lock down your line work that way. You can also control whether objects display with different layer properties in individual layout viewports. Now a few basic things about layers. Every drawing includes a layer named zero. If I open up the layer properties manager, I can click on this button right here, or I can type in LA on the command line. Now the layers property manager is a palette, so you can move it around and do things with it, just like any other palette. Every drawing in it has a layer named zero, just like this one right here. Layer zero cannot be deleted or renamed. This layer has two purposes in a file. One, it ensures that every drawing includes at least one layer. And two, it provides a special layer that relates to controlling colors in blocks. We'll talk about that at another time. I recommend that you create several new layers with which to organize your drawing with rather than create your entire drawing on layer zero. I've seen that. That's not good CAD practices. In this architectural example drawing, we have a few different layers in them, and we've gone over them. So here in our layer manager, you can get to a lot of different tools for creating and managing your layers. We'll talk about the layer manager in depth later on. But here is the layer panel for your ribbon. You'll get to a lot of different controls from it here. If you click this layer properties button, that will open or close the layer manager. If you select on this bar here, you will get to the different layers in your file. If you select on one, it will become the current layer. Whatever layer is current, that's what your new objects will be drawn on. So this object was just drawn on the viewport layer. You can switch to the doors layer. And now when I draw an object, it's blue because it's on the doors layer. I have different buttons here. I can isolate my different objects and freeze some of my layers. So if I click the freeze button, I can freeze all of the doors. Now they're still in my file. They're just sort of off. I can't see them. That way I won't accidentally delete them or manipulate them and it gets them out of the way. I can turn them back on by clicking on the turn all layers back on button here. So this is off and then this is freeze. We'll talk a little bit more about the differences between turning off a layer and freezing a layer more in depth. But you can do that to help you work with your line work while other objects are out of the way. That way you won't accidentally delete them, modify them, and it makes things easier when there's less on your screen. This little button here, the triangle, brings down some other settings that are a little bit more advanced. You can copy objects to a new layer. You can do the layer walk, which will display your objects on specific layers for you. You can freeze layers. You can merge layers so that you move all the objects from one layer to another, and it gets rid of that layer for you. It helps you clean up your drawing 
and this will delete all the objects on a specific layer. 